Hey guys, and welcome back to Ganshi Plans. I'm Rebecca, creator of Ganshi Plans Printables over at ganshiplans.com slash shop. Every month for the first video of the month, I like to go over the inserts I released the month before, show you some of the uh, thought process behind the design, how I intend to use them in my own planning, and hopefully to give you some inspiration on how you can use it for your own planner. So today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the one uh, insert bundle that was released in August, 2021. This month's a little bit different. If you've been following these videos, um, I usually will just show you the files on the computer. But this time, um, since I had a lot of fun making these into actually a booklet, I uh, printed them out and showed them to you. So this month's insert is a bundle and it's a NaNoWriMo bundle. Um, so if you don't know what NaNoWriMo is, it's a writing challenge that happens in November every year. They also have a summer event in July, um, and I, they may still have an event that you can do any month of the year if you want to, but I used to do NaNo, like, uh, before I met my husband, and I think the year that I did meet him, but I haven't really since, um, for various reasons. I actually did a whole video about that, um, in the corner, uh, I mean, I linked it in the corner. And so I can tell you my whole history in that video about when I used to do NaNoWriMo. Um, when I had the idea to start this printable shop, this was one of the very first things that I brainstormed as being something that I wanted to make. And so I'm excited that it's finally live. Um, it's coming up now so that you have time to print it out and get started on your planning in September, October before your November start. Um, and I made uh, it's what six different inserts five different like individual um, PDFs, but then also one of the PDFs is a booklet. So it's everything all together. And so this actually for all the five different sizes in the shop is available compatible with uh, Traveler's Notebooks, which I think is pretty cool that I managed to get that to fit. So I'm going to show you uh, the differences between all of these and sort of how I envision them being used because I actually just sat down and sort of set one of them up. This is the pocket size. Um, and so this is sort of front to back how I envisioned this being used. Now, first, I want to apologize for the paper quality. Um, I didn't want to waste my good paper. So this is printed on very thin copy paper. So you can see some of the printing through it, um, depending on the light. So anyway, so the very first, the cover of it, not very exciting as you can see. Uh, that's because this is where you can mock up some cover art if you're into that. I did something, this is a book I would not buy, but I just did this in like a second to show you the idea. Um, and so you can, you know, make it look as pretty as you like. And that would be like the cover of the insert in your traveler's notebook. Then obviously I didn't bind these, sorry. Uh, then on the front is like the bio information that you would put in your profile. Um, I think they still have that. Like I said, I haven't done it in a few years, uh, but you can just sort of, you know, give, you know, your influences and a brief little synopsis overview, you know, the blurb that goes on the inside of the jacket. Um, and so this would be a great way to like, once it's archived at the end of the month, uh, you can, you know, pull this out. Uh, or keep it with your, you know, printed manuscript or whatever and see how you did. You'll see all your data here in a second um, and have some information about the novel yourself. You can fill out everything. You can fill out less of it. And um, you could also just, you know, print out one or two of the inserts instead of all of them. Up to you. Um, personally, my my style, I find data very motivating. And so that's where these next two inserts or like designs come in. So the first fold out here is the general graph. This is the same thing you're going to find on your website, but I also like having a paper copy. I always have, even before I started bujoing, I would keep my own graph. So you can either do it like a line like this, or you can do the bar graph like they do on the website. Again, like they used to back in like 2013. Um, and so this goes, you know, from zero to at least 50,000. I'll show you the differences in a second. Um, this insert and the back one are the one where most of the differences are between different sizes. Um, and so the scale is going to be slightly different because there's a different number of boxes. Um, in the pocket size, you have a number every 2000 words. Um, and then it folds out and goes all the way across to 30. Then on the back of that, I actually turn this way for the pocket size, but it fits really well, actually. This is the math insert, and this is the guy that gets me super nerdy. Um, you put the grand total at the end of each day. 
you take that, you know, subtract this from this and you get today's total. This is how many words you wrote this day. The average is this, uh, this number divided by the day, right? So that's how you've been doing so far. To go is 50,000 words minus this number. So that's how many words you have left until the end of the month. Then you divide that by how many days you have left and get your goal for the next day. Now you can tell I actually offset this by one. This should be over right aligned because numbers. Um, that's the idea here is you have boxes for as many digits as you're going to need. Um, I did not foresee anyone writing more than 10,000 words in a single day. Um, so if you do that, then maybe this insert, it will be feel a little constricting, but uh, most of us are in the one to 5,000 word range per day. And so this will give you that, this is the goal you're really looking for. Like, yeah, you're every single day, your ideal is this column here. Um, hopefully you can see that okay. So, you know, if you write exactly 100, 1,667 words per day, then this is where you will be on par, that straight line up the graph. But um, you can see where you are compared to that. It's, if you're above it, then you're doing great. If you're below it, you might have some catching up to do. Um, and then you can compare today's number to this number because this will tell you like, okay, if you do a really good day here, then this number will go down. And I find that very motivating. So there you go. Then we have a word sprint calculator, more math. Also, I should have been right aligning these numbers and I didn't do that great. So, um, you know, after a few days in a third, I guess it's only a fifth of the way in, then you uh, start to deal with five digit numbers and that won't be as much of an issue. But this is your end number at the total, like your total end number and your total start number at the beginning of a word sprint. So you say, I'm going to sit down for 10 minutes or whatever and write as fast as I can. Um, so you put your start time here and your start number here in the middle column because it's math. So then at the end, you put the end time and the end number. So you do, you know, subtract from each other and you get how many words you wrote in how much time that divided by that equals your words per minute. And that can just sort of be a fun little motivator to see how fast you wrote and also how many words you wrote. So there you go. Um, also, can I just say, like, if this was me, I would absolutely be highlighting numbers in green if they were above my goal and in red if they were below my goal and stuff like that. But that's just me. Then the next bit is a uh, write-in log. So if you see some write-ins on the website, you can keep them all in one place and then keep a log of how you did. Um, so you put, you know, when and when and where I used to go to this write in in my local area that was hosted inside an Ikea and it was so much fun like you wouldn't think but it was super cool so that's why I put that notes can be anything it can be how much you wrote or what the venue was like or who you met I put I met Jim and Mary because those are very generic names but importantly there's this place to write how many words you got written um, at the event so there you go um, this one is just a blank page to fill space then the back spread of two pages is achievements. Um, so you get to fill in a little star whenever you do one of the achievements that's on here. I guess if you want to reject one of mine, you can white it out and cover it with something else. But um, we've got several different options on here. Just getting started and finishing are on there, as well as attending a write-in, writing 5,000 in a day, meeting somebody, talking to a stranger about nano, um, writing like longhand, uh, the traveling shovel of death. I hope that's still a thing and that this isn't ridiculous, but like that was a thing. One of those challenges that you could just like, it was a trope that everybody would grab and throw in just when they were feeling unmotivated. Um, you would just kill off a character with a shovel. And the thing about Nano is you could always write it out in edits, uh, cover art. I technically did cover art. So I filled that one in. Uh, donate uh, word sprints, accept a dare also off the website, off the forms there. And then uh, this is just like that, um, what's it, thermometer that you fill up when you're fundraising, you know, you could fill the entire box or I just sort of highlighted the number, but you can just sort of keep track whenever you hit a milestone every 5,000 words. Doop, 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 doop. Hopefully that's every three days for you, but maybe you're doing some catching up and this can be motivating. And then the back is just another grid page. So that is the booklet and let me show you the different sizes to compare the different um, layouts. So everything is in the same order and most of these are just sort of, you know, 
a little bit bigger or a little bit, you know, a little bit of extra space, depending the stars are bigger in some of the versions. But the big differences here uh, are going to be on the math side. So you'll see here um, on most of these, the fold out is not a full page width. Partially that's because it doesn't need to be to get all the numbers to fit and partially that's to get all the pages to fit um, on the printer paper so that you can still have it as the traveler's notebook with this page attached. Um, so you've got your graph here, uh, it cuts off at 17 instead of 15 and the numbers here are every two lines is 3000 words. Then on the back for the math, you've got um, a bit of a gap here because it, you know, it fit and you have this extra space on the bottom um, because pocket size or sorry, personal size is that way. It just is very tall. And so if every, uh, the data fits on a different size, then it ends up looking a little bit short on a, a personal size. So you get a little bit of extra space for notes or decoration or whatever. Um, so there you go. The, these numbers are all going to be exactly the same on every insert, of course. Next up, A5, sorry, A4. <laughs> the numbers, this is the same, actually. This goes uh, 3,000 every two lines, but whereas personal size went all the way up to 52,000, A5, uh, A4 only goes up to 50,000 because it's what fit elegantly. Um, and then this is the size of the foldout, and this is where it cuts off on the back. You have the fold happens right here. Uh, let's see, the stars on this one are pretty small, relatively small. I don't remember if these are as small. Oh yeah, they're bigger. These are the medium sized stars, I think. Next, pocket, oh sorry, purse, I keep saying pocket, personal wide. This is the same height as personal size, but it is wider. And so the fold out is smaller because it doesn't need to be as, you know, it's already wider. Um, and, but it's got the same numbering, uh, 3000 every two lines up to 52,000. And then on the back, it's going to be the same, um, area at the bottom here, but then also the fold gets moved over. And I believe we've moved up. Nope. We still have medium sized stars, same, same, just sort of spread out a little bit more. And then half letter size or A5, either way. Um, this one doesn't actually have a fold out. So you've got uh, so much space for a gorgeous mock-up of a cover page. Um, extra space for a full on synopsis. You've read your entire novel and I'm just kidding. Um, and then in this, um, the graph is actually sideways uh, that fits nicely here all sideways and perfect this has numbers every two lines is 5,000 so this also only goes up to 50,000 but it's like so perfect that it lines up like that and then these boxes on this grid are actually bigger too oh, I forget if these are five or six millimeter grids uh, to spread it out a little bit and then all of the math fits just vertically on one page, which is amazing. Look at that. Um, these boxes are actually four millimeters wide by six tall. Um, it fits that way. They're not actually square on this size, but you still have, I wanted to keep the number of digits there because it just makes it tidier to keep all of your columns straight when you're doing all that math. Um, and let's see, plenty of space, plenty of space. And then this is the super chunky extra large stars for your achievements. You can feel very proud of yourself. I probably would not recommend filling in the entire uh, line for the achievements. Just, you know, like I said, highlighting the number. And that is everything. Uh, let me know in the comments whether you prefer seeing everything printed out like this or whether it's confusing to be fluff fluffling and fluttering all of these pages around, uh, whether you'd prefer to just see it on the pa on the computer screen. Um, and that's it. So I hope you find this new bundle to be something interesting that you might use in your own planner. Uh, let me know below. Do you participate in Nano all the time? Have you ever before? Are you interested in doing it this year? Why, why not? Um, I did, like I said, a whole video that I've linked about why I don't personally anymore, but it was a super great experience uh, when I did do it. So I hope that you consider 
doing some writing yourself and if you do using my bundle. Um, next month's inserts is going to be another bundle this time looking it seems like it's crazy forward ahead um, in the future but the next month's bundle is going to be a Christmas bundle so also comment below anything that you find to be a super unnecessary spread for your Christmas planning or your holiday planning generally um, and I will let you know whether it's already part of the bundle or maybe consider adding it to the bundle because it's not quite done yet. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe. I post planner videos every Thursday, so if that's what you're into, that's how you found me, that's why you're here, and I will see you guys in the next video on Thursday. Till then, have a great week. Bye.